So we're here at Crawford, the second hybrid test of the season. Uh, it's lunchtime now, it's running much, much better than Donington. Thank God, uh, car feels good. And on this video, we're gonna show you an onboard lap around Croft. Um, and then I'm gonna go through that lap and explain how the hybrid system works, where I'm using it and why. It's not the top, top lap. So this is how not to start a lap. It was my very first run this morning, but hopefully it'll give you a better insight on how we're actually using it around the track. There's some cool onboard as well, so enjoy. obviously with the, with the little issues that we had so we we're just running like crazy today you can probably see I am absolutely shattered uh, but really really good day uh, got some quality seat time uh, we did plenty of setup changes to the car not amazing position wise I, I think I ended up the day P12 but I did my fastest time of the day on some used tires so there's still a bit to go put a new set of tyres on at the end and it started to rain literally raining on and off on and off all day today so we are in the north so <laughs> it's expected and what was really weird I ended up doing exactly the same lap time as as Tom Ingram like to the to the thousands to, so that was a little bit weird but yeah really good day and obviously this video I'm going to show you uh, an onboard of my lap this morning uh, my first run of the day so not the fastest lap in terms of lap time, um, but I can, what I'm gonna do is show the lap, show the onboard, but then talk you through it as well, and just explain what I'm thinking, what's going through my head, certain things that I'm looking out for, and also a couple of bits about the hybrid system as well. So hopefully you enjoy that. The last last video was a bit in depth. This one's a little bit more fun, showing you some onboard, and um, yeah, hope you enjoy. And uh, next one, we are out at Thruxton for the media day. So we've got one more test left before the first round at Donington. So it's coming up fast and uh, yeah, can't wait.
on board then. Um, it's quite rare we put on boards up. Um, ITV have the rights to the footage over the race weekend, free practice and races. So it's quite rare that people actually put on boards up. And this one is a little bit different as well because I'm using the hybrid system. So now I'm gonna talk you through the lap, show you where I use the hybrid system, why I used it there, and also some of the mistakes, what I did with a hybrid system. Quite a few mistakes on this lap. It's my first run of the day, which I think I've said a few times, but getting the excuses in early. If there are any racing drivers watching out there, it was the first run of the day. So um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get going. I can explain a few things. So heading into the last corner, you want to get a nice deep entry into this corner to get a good exit. On this lap, I did not get a good exit at all. I went too early on the power and I get wheel spin and I run out onto the grass. So this is how not to start a lap. So yeah, plenty of wheel spin, lots of revs, bit of grass. It looks quite cool, but it's not fast. Um, so yeah, not the best. So here, I've just paused it now. So if you want to look down to my right hand, my thumb is actually on the hybrid button. That is where the hybrid button is. Um, obviously just chilling there with one hand on the wheel. Um, but yeah, we, we hit it there to get a good exit and obviously start strong on the next lap as well. So we're on the button. Starting a lap down to the first corner. Very fast corner here. You can see I'm using all the track width. So my left tires are to the left hand side of that white line. So really maximizing the track width going into this first turn. Bit of an aggressive curve there. You're getting pushed out to the tires. The tire bales are there to stop us from abusing track limits, which we like to do in British touring cars. Um, but yeah, entering this second corner, very tight. Tricky corner, this one, especially with used tires. You don't get a lot of traction. This is one of the most tricky corners on the circuit. When, you, when you're fully up to speed with some good tires on, you flat through here, but you're really hanging on. I get quite a bit of oversteer coming out of here all the way to the grass. So yeah, I'm just gonna rewind that back five seconds so coming out of here see curb upsets it a little bit i actually touched the button here for a split second it would have done absolutely nothing for this amount of time but because it's the first session of the day i'm just trying to feel where i'm going to use it we can look back on the data and see where it benefits it most um and this is something we're going to have to do all the way through the season is just have a play about with the button in the first session and figure out where we're gonna benefit most from it. So straight off the button again, like I say, it would have done nothing. Um, into this corner, big bump there under braking, very easy to lock up. Coming out of this corner, so I'm already on the button there. So this is, this is a mistake that I made early on in the day because I was pressing the button too early. So one of the rules of the hybrid system is, the hybrid system won't work unless we're doing over 120 kilometers an hour. We have to be in third gear and over 120 kilometers an hour. I was pressing it so early coming out the corner, we were about 110 kilometers an hour, so it doesn't kick in. Um, in fact, if you press it too early, it, it locks it out for two seconds. So what I would have needed to do there was come off the button, wait two seconds, and then go back on it. Um, so I'll just rewind that one more time. So just coming out of the corner here, watch my right hand now. So I'm on the button already there, and I'm not up to speed. If you keep looking at the dash where the green light is, just near my left hand now, there's no blue lights then the blue lights come on. That tells us when we can engage the, the hybrid system. That's when we go over 120 kilometers an hour. So, like I say, mistake, m mistake by me in the morning. I didn't get any benefit from the hybrid then for pressing it too early. Um, heading up to the S's. This is probably one of the most ballsy 
corners on the, on the UK calendar, it's flat out. We're just shifting to sixth gear, so probably doing about 130, 140 miles an hour through this corner, flat out. And particularly when we're racing, when, when there's a train of cars, we can just see the bumper in front. We'd, sometimes we're, we're touching the car in front through here. Um, and biggest thing through here, you need to get as close to the tyre bells without clipping them, basically. Um, through here, bit of oversteer, using a bit of a track. Here, lifting quite early, like I said, hit this point we're doing about 150 miles an hour, lifting out the throttle. Down two gears, plenty of camber through this right. Really rewarding corner when you get it right. And then coming out of here, fourth gear, and you can see I've got back onto the button. So throughout the lap, we get 15 seconds worth of hybrid. Um, if you don't use it, you don't optimize the system. Um, if you've used all of the 15 seconds, then it just locks it out. You can't do any more until it resets again on the next lap when we cross the line. So on the button up here, Breaking down a gear, bit of camber here on the left, and then we're entering the complex. This is quite a tricky corner. Again, lots of traction issues with it being a front wheel drive car. Very busy part of the track. Deep line in, much better exit than the lap before. And you can see there I'm back on the button to try and get a good finish to the lap and then a good run onto the next lap as well. So finishing the lap on the dash there, you can see it's a uh, 1.23.5. I think the fastest lap of the day was a 22.2. So this lap being about 1.3 seconds off uh, what I did in the afternoon. So to be fair, for the first run of the day, it was actually a, a pretty decent time, to be honest, on used tyres. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully it gives you an insight to what we're having to adapt to with the hybrid. I personally really enjoy it, it adds another element to it. You can see there I, I made some mistakes and you can imagine during racing when we've got six cars around us and it's all going absolutely mental, we've still got to think about the hybrid system. So I think the more complicated the car is and more difficult it is to drive, the, the better, the better really. So yeah, no, I think it's really going to add something to the racing. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed it, press the like button. Hope you can subscribe and look forward to doing more of these videos in the future. I'll see you soon at Thruxton. Cheers, guys. <laughs>